The Columbus Zoo is home to around 11,000 animals of 800 different species, including the elephants, polar bears, giraffes, and more. Now, today I'm showing you how you can make the most out of a four to five hour day at the Columbus Zoo. The Columbus Zoo is the biggest zoo in the United States. It can be confusing to get around if you're not familiar with the zoo. The zoo has six different geographic regions, Asia Quest, North America, Polar Bear Frontier, the shores of Australia and the islands, African forests, and the heart of Africa. But of course, in our fall day, we want to visit all the regions and see the iconic animals and attractions. Now, with seniors or younger children, walking around can be challenging. There is a train ride that is located in North America and a shuttle at the front of the zoo that goes to the heart of Africa. Hours and weather could change availability. You can also rent wheelchairs, electric scooters, and strollers. Gift shops are a must. They bring memories of your amazing day at the Columbus Zoo. The Mudiwa Village Gift Shop is located in the heart of Africa. There is Mermaid's Purse Gift Shop located in the aquarium, and small stands located around the zoo that you can find anywhere. But if you want to find the biggest and most inclusive shop, it would be the Zoo Marketplace Gift Shop at the front of the zoo that includes items from all regions. Food. A nice break to sit down and eat a good meal or some snacks is super important. Some of the best sit-down restaurants would be the Prairie Outpost in North America. It sells dipping dots, pretzels, hot dogs, and popcorn. A poor restaurant in the heart of Africa. It is a sit-down restaurant that sells chicken, ribs, salads, pizza. Congo River Market and Congo Expedition sells hamburgers, chicken tenders, pizza, and salads. Animal interactions. Animal experiences are an experience anyone can enjoy. In North America, you can find the Bob Evans My Farm, you can brush and feed the goats and see some other farm animals in the barn. You can also find the pony rides that are for kids 10 and younger, so definitely an experience the younger ones will also enjoy. In the heart of Africa, you can find some of the most popular experiences. Camel rides for adults and children 2 and older, and giraffe feeding for any age, but depending on the season, it may or may not be available. Now let's talk about some of the rides. The rides are found in Adventure Cove, and you can find the Sea Dragon, Dust Devil, Safari Stampede, Sugar Glider, Swingin' Gibbons, Golden Frog Hopper, Jack's Sea Party, Tiny Town Train, Tiny Tusks, Falcon Fall, Havoc Harbor, Mission Macaw, Flying Clipper, and Tidal Twist. Seals. The seals and sea lions were recently added to the Columbus Zoo during 2020. Because of COVID-19, they did not get a lot of attention for a few months. These adorable animals will around you and show off their tricks. You can view them in the outside or the inside area where you can see them through a glass, swing above, under you, or near you. There's also a seal show available around the area as well. It is a great experience, so if you have time to do it, you should do it. Some of the other important things to know about is restrooms. There's at least one in every region near gift shops, food stands, and restaurants. The map will have icons for where restrooms are throughout the zoo, and you can also ask a worker if you need help as well. First aid. First aid is also very important to know about. Now, first aid does not have an official phone number at the zoo, but if you are in need of a trip to the clinic, a staff member will call over the car that will take you there right away. But if you're in need of a band-aid, medicine, etc., you can walk over near the exit of the main area and you can find it right there. All of this information is super important to know because in your short amount of time here, you wanna make sure you can save as much time as possible looking for some of the needs. I hope some of these tips helped you. Remember to stay safe and remember to follow High Eagle News to see more of our creations. Bye.